Hello again and welcome to Infinite Transcendence. I want to talk today about homemade ice cream. This is Infinite Transcendence. Now, you may remember some time ago I was talking about Halo Top ice cream and is it healthy and is it not. My ultimate conclusion was that it's better than most ice creams you'll eat if you can tolerate the sugar alcohol. But you're really better off making your own ice cream at home because you can decide what goes into it. You can take away a lot of the fillers and all the additives and things like that that you put in it. So if you want something quote unquote healthy, more healthy or less bad, you're better off making your own ice cream. I really don't think most people have made their ice cream before uh, or tasted homemade ice cream. It's not the same as the kind you buy in the store. It's usually much harder. It usually freezes more because the things that make the ice cream soft is a high, is a high sugar content, the high fat content, the high the alcohol. Or you can put alcohol in it as well because those things don't freeze as well. It, pre it prevents the crystals from freezing together and giving that frozen hard uh, abil uh, of substance kind of consistency. And you also use an emulsifier. One of those like what's like things like uh, one of those gums that they put in it to keep it nice and soft. Now homemade ice cream is only going to harden when you eat it. Now you can microwave it or let it thaw out, but the more you do that, it loses its texture. Or you can put in the additives, like I said. But homemade ice cream is a lot different. It's kind of a thicker milkshake consistency, and it just tastes a lot. It tastes it tastes great, but it's a different taste than what you might be used to with the ice cream you eat that has like the air and all the filler in it. It's much more dense. And I want to talk about why you should eat it if you like ice cream is one, it's cheap. You can get yourself an ice cream maker for 30, 40 bucks, a good homemade one, a good like residential one that's not a you need a commercial one for yourself. And you can make it and all you need is some ice, some salt, and you need the milk and whatever ingredients you want to put in there. You let it churn and it can be done in as little as 20 to 45 minutes. Get a get a uh, bucket or get a container and put it in there and then you have ice cream ready for you whenever you want it. So it's, it's also, not only is it cheap, it's also convenient for that reason as well. The convenience factor is something that's very big. It seems like it's harder, but really you can just make it in your free time and without having to go to the store and go run and get something and then you have some available for the next few days if you want to eat it that way. Also, it's less bad for you. One thing, of course, with ice cream is it's obviously a junk food and even the healthiest ice cream has a lot of additives. It has a high amount of sugar, fat, everything else, and there's a lot of, you know, you have all kinds of allergen causing foods and uh, things, nuts, you have almonds, a lot of things that give people problems. When you make it yourself, you can take all those things out. So not only is it healthy, you can take things out that will give you problems and you can make it better for yourself and, to, to, and closer to your preferences, what you want to eat. You want to have chocolate, you want to have vanilla, you, have, you can add strawberries in there, whatever you want to add in there, you can do it in your own natural way and has more of a natural, fresh taste. And not only that, but it's good. It tastes great. It has, like I said, like more of a milkshake flavor. It's more dense. But as you get used to it, you can change it, tweak it, add what you want to. You might end up liking it more than a store-bought kind as well. A lot of times, people get used to eating things from restaurants. But once they get used to making it themselves, they end up liking that more. And they seldom go back. They end up making it for themselves, for their family, for their friends. And hey, give it a try. You never know until you try. And you might find a hobby and a treat that you end up liking a lot. And that's what I wanted to share today about uh, homemade ice cream and why you should eat it and what it's like. And let me know do you, what you think. Do you eat a lot of homemade ice cream? Do you eat ice cream at all? Uh, what are some of your suggestions and tips? As always, let me know. And again, like, subscribe, and transcend infinitely. Keep watching and listening. See you next time and transcend infinitely.